Any big gun here. Today, I'm here to do a uh, different kind of video. I am here today, I'm going to show you how to sharpen a knife with a very simple tool. You most likely have this tool in your kitchen cabinet. That tool is going to be a mug. I'm going to show you today how to sharpen a knife with a mug. Or even a pair of mugs. So, anyway, uh, so and also another tool you are going to be needing is going to be a knife steel. Now, if you're like me and don't have a knife steel, you can use a screwdriver. Now, if you have a screwdriver, you must be careful when you are um, sharpening your knife on it to make sure there is no lettering on the surface of the screwdriver. If you go through the lettering with the knife, you are going to absolutely ruin the edge you have just sharpened. So, what I like to use, you can also use a butter knife. Now, this is a uh, silver handled butter knife, but the blade is uh, steel, raw steel. It's very important to use raw steel. Don't just use uh, any butter knife that has a uh, painted uh, blade. That is just not going to work. I tried it once. It didn't work. Now I use something like this. Uh, it's raw steel. And uh, anyway. Now you can. Now also, you're going to have to be wise choosing your mug to do this with. Now you can't just use any material. You have to do a bit like me, a trial and error, to find the right material that works. Now this one is like a, uh, I, I like to use this best for the most, um, how do I put it, this does most of, uh, this is like a more rougher material, and I like, this is more like a smoother material, and I have to also make sure, I don't know if you can kind of see it, it's it chipped here, make sure you don't sharpen your knife where it's chipped, you're going to ruin the blade, and um, I have already sharpened a knife, but I'm going to get some uh, paper here to show you. Uh, I sharpened um, this knife one already before doing this video. I wanted to get some practice, and uh, I got the. This was, this knife was practically blunt before, and now I can it, it slices paper. It, it's unbelievable what I did here. No, this is not right there, but it actually slices paper now. And now another thing extra, if you have a strop, that is very wise if you've got, so I have a strop, but you don't have to use a strop uh, for getting your knife sharp, but if you have a strop, that's very, very useful. Now I'm not going to strop the knife uh, in this case. Now the knife I'm going to be sharpening is not this one, since I've got it nice and sharp already. What I'm going to be sharpening is because before I started collecting knives, I... Um, I, uh, what do you, how do I say it, I uh, used to work a lot of knives and I didn't used to really care about the edge. And this little tiny bullet knife here, I practically, it's practically blunt. It's practically blunt. Sure. See, it doesn't, it doesn't cut the paper whatsoever. So, and uh, it's practically blunt. So, I was thinking to myself, how can I get my knife sharp again? And I thought to myself, why don't I try using a mug because it's a stone and also you, you might also like to maybe try a platter and that might work well but you have to make sure there's no paint on the stone it's very important don't make sure there's no paint because that's not going to work either and I thought to myself I'd try, uh, I tried a cheap Chinese kitchen knife and I was surprised how quickly the edge came back on that steel now another thing to mention is different steel will work uh, differently so as well so now I'm going to use this uh, kind of a coarser stone now another thing is, we, if you don't know how to do this, you, I recommend you take your finger and you put it to make sure it's flush. And then you do that and do it on the side as well to make sure it's flush. Just to make sure to keep the angle correct. Now one thing, do move your finger before you go backwards, like so. Because if you leave your finger and go backwards, you're going to probably slice your finger. But just... I might not do all this on camera, I might pause it. Pause the sharpening and that's not something you want to do too quickly. 
Now there are other options out that are uh, expensive options. Uh, something I really would like to have one day is a uh, Spyderco Sharp Maker. That was a re that's a, a really great tool in my opinion, but it's expensive. You know what I mean? It costs uh, 60, 70, 80, even up to a hundred dollars depending where you look. But around sixty dollars. Now I don't have sixty dollars just to spend like that. So. I resort to something else to get my knife sharp, and also, when you're sharpening your knife, you might notice some black, I don't know if you can see it, right here. Now it's not paint, there's no need to worry, it is the steel coming off the edge. It's the steel coming off the edge of the knife. So you are removing steel to... Um, Anyway, you're moving steel to uh, make the edge sharper. Now I've practiced on quite a few knives before doing this video, but like I said, you put your finger here to make sure the edge is flush and then like that. The knife steel is what I have the most problems because if you're if you're doing it wrong on the knife steel, if you're sharpening it wrong, you're actually making it dull the edge. So to be you have to practice, you know, you just gotta take a knife you uh, don't use or you know that's practically blunt you don't care about and just practice. Oh, and that's a big difference already. Just a couple of minutes and a big difference comes already. No, it's not paper sharp yet, I don't think, but it's different. And also what I really like about this mug sharpening system is, is that I don't, I'm a knife collector, so I don't like to ruin the finish on my knives. Of course, before I used to, when I used to work with knives, I used to work very, very rough with my knives. But now since I've been collecting knives, I've been very, very careful. I don't like to ruin the finish while sharpening, so this system works really well for me to preserve the finish on my knives and as well keep them sharp, you know? Now I don't recommend doing this procedure if you have a sharp, if you have a, sorry, I apologise. I don't recommend doing this procedure if you have a knife that already cuts paper. There's no need to sharpen that, it's pretty sharp already. But if you have a knife that's blunt, like this one I'm doing right now, you, uh, it's really blunt, it won't cut a vegetable or nothing. I really recommend to do this procedure. If you have a knife that already cuts paper, that's just no point, you know what I mean? Now, it's going to be very important you to make sure you get the entire surface, including the tip. That's a mistake I, use, I, I make sometimes, that I don't get the tip, but the tip needs to be sharpened too. And try to always keep the same angle. Now, that's a much better already. Now, and whatever you do, don't do one, two, three, one, two, three, like you might do with a knife steel. Whenever you do a, a stroke, do the counter stroke. Like stroke, counter stroke. Stroke, counter stroke. Now, self I, do, I like to do it like this. Just like that. But you can also do it maybe like this. This works too. I just like to do it like that. Oh, yeah. This steel seems to be coming sharp pretty fast. The video is already nine minutes in as I can see it there. I might pause the camera or I just might continue going. Or you can always just wind it forward to the point where I'm finished. There's a lot of black coming off. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a lot of black. Let me feel the edge now. 
Let's try it on the paper. I don't think I've cut paper yet, but it has come a lot sharper. It's better. It's better, but it's not there yet. It's not quite there yet. It's not there. Oh, anyway. It's better than what it was, but it's not there. Alright, I'm going to pause the camera, you all, and then I'm going to continue a little bit, and then I'll get back to you all in a few minutes. Alright, I'm back. I've been um, working on this for, let's say, another 10 minutes, and it's better. Look at that. It's, I did that wrong. That's a lot better. It's not perfect, but it's nowhere near as dull as it was. Now I'm going to continue a bit more and then when I get back to you all I'm gonna work on it with a knife still a little bit and then do it a little bit off camera and then we'll see what kind of edge we have after that. Feels nice and sharp now already but it's not there yet. It's not as sharp as I'd like it. So anyway I think I might try using this mug a little bit here. And uh, you're going to have to, uh, I've tried a couple of mugs that really didn't work. Now you're going to have to, uh, how shall I put this, go through some several mugs and see what sharpens your knives best. And I'm using this uh, NYC New York City uh, cup, mug, sorry. And um, it's just what I'm using. So... Now, I advise caution, do this slowly, don't do it quickly, and be aware of where your fingers are, so you don't accidentally slice your finger off. Let's try it some more here. That with anything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is doing a difference. This mug is doing a finer job now. There we go, better. Because this knife, I I EDC, I EDC'd this knife for a long time before I got into YouTube, before I EDC'd things like this. I used to carry this every day, I used to work with it intensively, all the time. I used to cook everything from cardboard to copper cabling, to be honest. And I ruined the edge. So, anyway, I'm gonna continue, off camera. And I'm gonna do this for another 5-10 minutes, and then I'm gonna get back to you all to run it over the steel. And then we'll see what we got, so see you all in a minute. Alright, now I've been working with this mug for, I don't know, for five or ten minutes, not too long. I've got, uh, let's see, what have I got here? Got a basic, I've got a um, new sheet of paper. And look at that. I'm not showing you right. Now it cuts, now actually, it actually cuts. Look at that. The point, is, I did that wrong. Now the point is sharp. It cuts. Okay, that one I tore, but. Now, I mean, I guess you could get better results with the Spyderco Sharp Maker, which costs nearly $100 or less. Not far from $100. But, with a basic kitchen tool, like a mug, I get these results. Now, I'm not finished yet. 
Once I run it over the knife steel, it'll be even sharper. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to just put it on camera just to show you. Don't forget, the edge has to be... Now with this, you can do three or four strokes like that. And then three or four strokes like that. And then three or four strokes like that. See, I turn the knife around this way. And then I turn the knife around this way. That way the thick edge, the thick steel, is on this side so I can sharpen this side of the blade. Well, it's just nothing with the steel is a bit difficult because you see it's this little, 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 I don't know, little part right here, and the steel sometimes gets stuck in it. But if you do it slowly, take your time, whatever you do, don't ex don't push the process. I've been doing this for what is this like 15 minutes on the camera, I've been doing this for like a good half an hour already, and I can go further, I can make it even sharper. That's just good. That's very good. I was saying this knife was ruined and I had no way to sharpen it. Now I've got a way to sharpen it. Now I'm going to do a little bit off camera now. A little uh, two or three minutes off camera. So the video is not too long. And then I'm going to get back to you with the final result. See you all. In a minute. All right, five ten minutes of um, sharp blade with knife steel that I just did, and it feels pretty sharp. Got a fresh piece of paper. Oh wow! I did that wrong there. Wow, wow! It is much sharper than before. I'm putting it wrong here, but. Trying to get you a good, good picture, but if I stab the if I stab it in, much better, much better. See, I, in the beginning of the video, I did this, and it wouldn't cut the paper. Now let's see what it does. Ah, bit of a difference, eh? Now it will cut the paper. I'm gonna take a fresh slice of paper. If I got one here. I don't think I got a fresh slice of paper, maybe I have. Well, semi fresh. And it just will it will cut. I'm pretty sure it'll shave too. And it shaves, I don't know if you can see the hair on it, but it shaves. It is hair popping sharp now. And, I mean, with a mug, I call that pretty good. I don't know. That's the end result, you all. This knife was dull and just hanging around in my collection. And I come out here now, I sharpen it with you all. Now it's a really razor sharp knife. Yes, you can do better with a Spyderco Sharp Maker, which is very expensive, but you want to go cut some vegetables this night, you want to go uh, peel some potatoes, you can. Just by using a couple of mugs. You could even just use one mug. I just used two because uh, this one has a finer surface, this one has a more rough surface. But you could just use this mug and just get it just as sharp, I'm sure. With no problem. Oh, and by the way, funny if you ask, the black on here, this washes right off. So, that's, uh, well, it's been a pretty long video, and uh, I thank you all for watching, taking the time with me to let me show you this, um, this uh, way of sharpening knives, and uh, the longer you do it, you'll probably get the knife even sharper, I've just basically done it very quickly, if you will, but 
take your time, practice a lot, and uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta practice because uh, you can't just do it. You know, you just you gotta take your time, get the angle correct, and everything. And if you got a strop, you can probably even get it sharper yet. So that was just um, uh, a quick video, or quick, the very long video. To, you know what I mean. Um, uh, as I said, thank you for watching. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. I'd like to know what you think. And um, keep your knife sharp, you all. Keep them very sharp. Please like, favorite, subscribe. And most of all, have a nice day.